For tonight, the Beatles. Not those Beatles. <laughs> we mean the ones making life miserable and trees scarce in Claremont County. Tomorrow, the U.S. Agriculture Department is due to release a report outlining how it wants to handle this growing infest infestation. Nine News reporter Bill Price is live in Amelia to show us why this report will be so important to residents there. Bill? Well, Carol, imagine you have a nice grove of trees like this around your uh, home. Well, tonight, some Claremont County residents are worried that the federal government might come in, and if there's any evidence of an Asian longhorn beetle in, say, one tree, they'll force them to cut down all the trees around the home. All they have to do is look at the small forest of trees on Angel Drive behind the Bethel Tate Middle School to see what they consider at stake. Now, all the trees with orange marks have a beetle infestation, and they'll have to be cut down. But some residents here are worried this new Agriculture Department report will want all nearby trees destroyed to try to keep the beetle from spreading. The property values out here have just, I mean, they've plummeted when they've come in and they've taken, you know, 10, 15, 20 trees out of these people's yards. Scavarla says he almost lost several of his 15-year-old river birch trees to the beetle scare. They weren't infected, but agriculture officials feared they'd be next and wanted them cut down. He says he wants to keep Bethel and Tate Township from losing other healthy trees because of the Asian beetles. I'm optimistic. You know, I'm nervous and I'm scared, and by the same time, I'm ex uh, or same token, I'm I'm excited. I'm hoping to see um, some semblance of uh, of um, uh, understanding on behalf of the government. Scavarlo hopes the uh, agriculture department will allow tree owners to use some new methods, to try to control the beetle itself instead of just taking out trees. They're using trap trees. There's so many, and they're using chemical treatment successfully everywhere except here. It's not been ever offered up as an option here. Now, that long-awaited federal report is due to be released tomorrow morning on the U.S. Department of Agriculture website. And, of course, we'll have that covered for you along with reaction tomorrow here at 9 News and WCPO.com. Carol, Clyde. A whole lot of people will be watching this one. Bill Price reporting live tonight in Amelia.